Hello everybody, my name is Black Knight and welcome back to a brand new video, ladies and gentlemen, where today, today I am back on Minecraft and I'm going to be playing the brand new mashup pack that's just released it, well, actually released it a few weeks ago by the time I recorded this, but today I will be playing the brand new Dungeons and Dragons mashup pack in Minecraft. So, in case if any of you didn't know, there was a brand new map that just released it, which is the Dungeons & Dragons Mashup Pack. This was created by Everbloom Games, which we are going to take a look at some of the other stuff in a second, but I saw this map and I wanted to give it a try for myself to see how well, you know, this map is. And by looking at the pictures at the Marketplace shop, there's, there's a lot to this game. And I thought, hey, why do I... Why don't we go on ahead and, you know, purchase it and check it out for a video. Now, before I start playing this map, okay, I want to be real with all of you, okay? I want to be fully, like, yeah, I want to be fully honest with all of you. I have never played Dungeons & Dragons ever in my life. What? I have never touched it. I have never thought about looking into it. I have never even seen the movie that came out. I have never done anything related to Dungeons & Dragons at all okay i tried playing the online version but apparently it won't let me sign up so hopefully this you know map will give me the full experience of what it's like to fully play dungeons and dragons anyways now that i got that out of the way uh let's see there's some text on the wall make sure your sound is turned up sometimes dialogue boxes will not allow you to continue until a whole voice line has played because it's especially important information, okay? And then, warning, this map contains flashing lights. Yes, yeah, so if you have, or not have, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, then, um, well, just be prepared. But anyways, so, there's this, okay? I only just spun it in, you know, pushed a button, and this is where it spawned me in, and so, I'm assuming the map starts down here, so let's go see. Of whoa, wow, we look at all this. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming this is what Dungeons and Dragons looks like, fully physical. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the little um board thing. Again, I barely know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, so all of this is new to me. Um, so the the dice shapes uh, all this and apparently this is like um the the leaderboard or something it, again i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to be related and I, it's not working <laughs> but look at that we got some drinks we got some little dices we got like a little um play area i don't know i don't know oh wait what is this what is this what is this what is that i can't even see that um the spicer puffs this place are puffs Displacer puffs? I think that's what it's called. Uh, we got some pizza. Some nice go gourmet pizza. That's what I love. But yeah, just look at the details of this place. Look at it. We got this uh, thing where you put like the note sheets on. You got like old boxes. You got winter clothes, toys, colleges. More winter clothes. Okay. So, I'm assuming for when you get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons, you play them at the basement? I think. <laughs> I think. I'm, I'm just offending... A bunch of Dungeons and Dragons like fan. I am. I am sorry. I am sorry. You're just. You're gonna hear that from me a lot. So let's see. Um, use headphones for the best experience, which I'm already doing that. There's not really much information except the only thing is the button. So without further ado, let's do it. Hey, oh. glad you made it. I'm oh. really happy that oh, you're willing to give this game a shot. It's one of my favorite things to do with friends. Between the role playing, strategy, and just being goofy with each other. Okay, the goofy part is what I can get. D and D has something for every kind of player. Now, you said the other day that you wanted to just get kind of an intro experience before joining my regular campaign group. I guess you could say that. Say so that. I figured a more individual sort of experience would be a good way of showing you the ropes, give okay. you an idea of what the experience can feel like. Okay. Just take a seat whenever you feel like getting started. I've got snacks that should last us until the end of the universe. So help yourself to those too. Yep, some pizza. So, ooh, take a seat. Okay, so I can actually take a seat. I'm a, I'm a sit over here. Good to go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. So first things first. Let's choose your class. I've got the basics already written up for a few of them, so you only need to worry about picking one. Okay. Do you want to be a holy warrior with the ability to heal yourself and smite your foes with the power of your deity? Paladin might be the way to go. Hmm. 
I was also being told that I should be Paladin. Like, one of my friends, you know, he played this map and he told me that I should be Paladin. So, I may go with Paladin, may not. Let's, let's see what the other ones are. Or maybe a wizard, using your magic to blast bad guys sky high with fireballs while deflecting incoming attacks. A wizard, wizard, Gryffindor, right there. So, I don't know about wizard or paladin. But a rogue could be fun too. Hit and run tactics, poison your enemies and watching them succumb to the venom. So satisfying. Okay, so a dun- uh, no. Um, let's see. A uh, rogue, okay. But it's okay. also lots of fun to just be a barbarian with a big axe. Barbarians can get so angry that they just kind of forget that they've been hit and keep hacking away. Okay. I've always had a hard time choosing when I'm a player, so take your time. Okay, thank you, Dungeon Master. So, uh, hold on. Um, hold the menu item to use... Okay, so do I just... Oh, there we go! Alright, so we got Paladin. Let's see. A weapon, a longsword, damage... Three range five attack speed one and defense two. Okay, so we got paladin barbarian, uh, a great axe damage four range three attack speed three and defense four. Okay, a robe. Let's see damage two range two attack speed five and defense three. Okay, and wizard. Um, oh wait, hold on. What was that? Okay, that one. And then damage one, range six, attack speed two, and defense four. Okay, let's see. So, I feel like the wizard and the rogue is not going to be the best choice for me. So, it's either going to be paladin or barbarian. Hmm, let's see. Um, let's see. A holy warrior with the ability to heal themselves and smite their foes with power of the divine. Or a battle crazed individual with unburned rage, which grants them superhuman strength in combat. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Oh, that didn't work. How do, we, how do I select? Is that. Hello? <laughs> oh, there we go. So you have to hold it. Okay. Paladin. There we go. Another okay. side. Oh, there we go. Next, let's allocate your stats. You want me to explain how stats and dice rolling work in this game? Oh, so there's actually dice rolling. Okay, so, um, yes, please stats tell me. Stats determine what you're good at. Each stat has a use in combat, but they can also apply to role-playing situations and other things you do while adventuring in the world. Whenever you roll the 20-sided die, you'll add whichever stat applies to the roll. Okay. So, say you've got a plus three in a wisdom a plus three. and need to see if someone is telling the truth, you would roll the d20 and add three to whatever you rolled. Okay, so, apparently, this is like doing math. I, I, thought, I thought math didn't exist in, in Dungeons and Dragons world. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, I got a three in wisdom, and if someone's telling the truth, roll d and you add three. So, I get like six? Six, I that think. That insight check would show how well you're able to read that person's intentions and emotions. Okay. Rolling high means you can understand them and see through any lies they might be telling. Rolling low means that you believe whatever they're saying. Okay, um, I really hope that I can remember that. <laughs> for, like, the dice thing, I thought that was, like, meant for, the, like, move to, like, a certain point, but apparently it's just, like, you know, adding stuff and... All that. I really hope that I can definitely remember that. <laughs> Within reason, of course. If you roll a 20 on that die, then you'll almost certainly succeed at whatever you're trying to do. Or at least get useful info. Okay. Let's try an example. You are speaking to a tavern keeper, asking after some local bandits that you've been hired to hunt down. He talks easily enough, but he says that he has no information on these people or where to find them. Okay, so inside for 12 and then say that again. So inside 12? Okay, you rolled a 10. So okay. add 3 to that. Oh, so it's With 13. 13. You notice him tense and almost physically withdraw when you ask him about the bandits, giving you the sense that he's hiding something and knows more about the situation than he's letting on. Okay, so... This definitely involves with math, and I'm letting you guys know right now, math is not my strongest category at all, okay? So, 
I am probably going to mess up a lot in this. Okay. That's pretty much it. Rolling oh. a 20 when you hit someone in a fight also counts as a critical hit and doubles how much damage you do to them. Okay. Uh, rolling a 20 when you hit someone in a fight also counts as a critical hit. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do, but okay then. Rolling a 1 on that die, though, can be really bad news. One. Sometimes it just means failing whatever you're doing. Oh, <laughs> so I gotta be careful if I land in one. Okay. Sometimes it means failing so spectacularly that you, I don't know, fall down a flight of stairs, out of the window, and into a pen of spinning dots. Okay, probably not that specifically, but you get the idea. Do I? Do I don't? <laughs> do I don't? Um, but okay then. You'll also see that your class already has stats that will best support their abilities. How you add your extra stat points is up to you. Okay, then. Do you want to make them better at what they already do, or do you want to balance them out a bit? You'll get more stat points to distribute as we play, so don't worry about this step too much. Okay, um, pick stats. Ooh. Okay, open the menu. All right. Ooh, okay. So, let's see. Five points available. So, how do I do this? Ooh. Okay. So... I, I think I can use my stats for to get these upgraded, I think. Um, hmm, let's see. Charisma, Wisdom, Intelligence, uh, and Solution, uh, Dexterity. Uh, hmm, what happens if I use it? Hold on. Oh, okay. So, hmm, Intelligence. Uh, can I do it one more time? Oh, there we go. Okay, and Wisdom. Okay, okay, I'm getting this. And charisma. There we go. And close menu. And like that, you've made your first character. Congrats. Ooh, I did it. I made my first character. Okay. Now, how about we dive right into things? Let me just set the scene for you. Okay, got it. Let's go. Let's do it. The continent of Faerun has seen hundreds of stories turn into legends. The Dawn Age when dwarves overthrew the tyrannical giants and elves waged war against evil dragons, thereby carving out a place in the world for small folk. The tyranny of the Rose Dragon, when the Great Red Worm, Yelvir Asalisar, nearly raised Kalimshan and established her cruel empire. The time of troubles, when celestials and fiends alike were cast from their own realms, warring and laying waste to the mortal plane in their efforts to reclaim their divine positions. Yet each great story has great people steering the narrative. The Rose Dragon's empire only fell because Rafak al-Kajan and his companions slew the evil beast. The times of troubles ended because those like the mage Midnight rose to the occasion, in their case taking the mantle of divinity from the slain celestial Mistra until she could be resurrected. Now we come to the precipice of another such event, a budding calamity that could warp reality as we know it. Though there is no prophesied chosen one, no foreseen savior, if you play your cards right, you might just be able to avert what is to come. Or perhaps your story will simply serve as a cautionary tale for those who survive. Despite this, it all starts with something as mundane as fetching groceries for your parents. Ooh, Everbloom Games presents. Did any of you get that? I'm not sure if I did, though. <laughs> A collaboration with Minecraft and Wizards of the Coast. Oh, oh. Mine. Oh, hold on. Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. We open on Nashkel, Ooh. a village on the northern Nashkel. slopes okay. of the Cloud Peaks. The late spring rains have abated, making the trek across town to deliver a commission for your father at least a bit less muddy. Okay. As you make your way back along the main street, though, it is hard not to notice that your otherwise quiet home is riddled with strained, whispered conversations. Whispered conversations? Whoa. Ooh, okay. Main quest started, uh, what did it say? <laughs> Main quest started, humble beginnings, quest log updated, interact with the Eric to talk. Okay. Um, uh, hold on. So, ooh, I got my sword. Uh, whoa! I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see that the helmet is covering my eyes. Okay then, so I'm assuming the more that I play this, the more I'm gonna get upgraded armor, I think. But let's see, we got the menu right here. 
Ooh. Oh, okay. So it literally shows the things on here. Ah, okay. Uh, not started. Let's see. A weapon. Ooh. Okay, so I can upgrade the different weapons and different armor. Uh, stats, abilities, uh, glass already, and settings. Uh, streamer mode. Hmm, let's see. Recommend it off. Notes. All music in this map is original and it should be streamer safe if you should not. Uh, blah, blah. If I cannot read, I cannot read today. <laughs> if should not cause copyright flags, but if you want to be extra careful, enabling this will turn off the music in this map. Um, you know what? I'm confident. I'm confident. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it on. So, right here we go. Uh, oh, the arrow. Okay. So it's telling me to go this way, and oh my gosh, you are you an elf? <laughs> are you an elf? Okay, so. I'm assuming we go talk to this guy. Standing behind his produce stand is Eric, one of the farmers okay. living on the village's outskirts. You have known him for most of your life, though he is still young and smile lines have only just begun to crease the sides of his eyes. Okay. Your father said you'd be along to pick up his purchase. I don't envy him his back problems, as if he didn't have enough to deal with already as the headman. Okay. Anyhow, here you go. I'm sure he appreciates having you around to do all the heavy lifting for him. Um, old age stinks. Yeah, old age doesn't seem to agree with him. Yeah, well, it doesn't with most of us. If you're ever given the option of growing old, don't. Oh, okay. So, um, take care. Take care, Eric. Yeah, take care. Mm -hmm. See you around. You too, Eric. All right. So, quest log updated. Return home. Okay. Um, where is home? Or is it this? Nope. Okay. So, I got. I got this. I got the groceries. Um, okay, so that's definitely not home. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, the arrows tell me if it go that way. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just going to make a quick shortcut this way. There we go. La -de -da -de -da. Hello. Hello. Why am I saying hello? There's people here. <laughs> All right. Um, is this my home? Nope. Okay. Um, where's my house? Is this it? You hear voices oh. from inside your house. Okay. Perhaps it is worth waiting and listening in. All right. You know, I just heard about it this morning. Does anyone else know? I caught one of the trackers before he could go out to look for Helsa. He said he'd check it out while the trail was still warm, if there was one. But I don't know if he told anyone else first. We'll have to assume that he did. People are already starting to panic, and this will make it worse. I heard people at the market this morning talking about unfamiliar monsters. Unfamiliar monsters. Nobody's seen the things themselves, but the rumors are bad enough. This goes on and you'll have a mob at your front door demanding answers. I'm surprised you haven't seen one already. You've got to get ahead of this. So what are you going to do about it? You, give me a minute. I, I've got an idea, but I, I want to talk it over with Katra first. You're welcome to stay if you like. They should be back soon. Okay. Um... Enter my house. Okay. Mommy, Danny, I'm oh, home. There you are. Yeah. Put the food on the table and come talk to me. There's something we need to discuss. Okay. Got it. There we go. Uh, time to send rent. Okay. Uh, that's the wrong button. Listen, you've heard about the people going missing. I'm not going to sugarcoat this, but the whole Kelsit family is gone now. Really? Mary found their farm empty this morning without even a sign of struggle. Really? So an entire family is missing. Ooh, mystery. This is asking a lot, and I've got a feeling your mother's gonna kill me after I say this. Uh, what? Then don't say it. What? What? Ma! Mama! I need you to go speak with Endondravair and ask for his help. Uh, got it. You're right. I think I will throttle you. Are you insane? People are going missing, and you think sending Katra out into the woods by themselves is somehow a good idea? So apparently my name is Katra. Okay. I have to agree with Ellen. They'd make a tempting target. The trackers have been going on their own, and no one's bothered them. Besides, after all the training I've put Katra through, they should be fine on their own. Yes, but you could just send one of the trackers, or someone else. I want the trackers to keep looking for our people. Other than them, there's no one else I'd trust in the woods more than Katra. After all the times you've run off into there as a kid, you probably know the paths better than most of the villagers. So I used to run there as a kid? Oh my gosh. Okay, I did not know that. And Vyir is important. His ego probably won't let him talk to just a random villager. Neri could go, but she doesn't know how to fight, and I don't want the community's healer to be missing for a whole day if someone breaks their arm. And you're not worried what Vair might do to them? Unless Katra does something really stupid, which I would trust them not to, they'll be fine. 
Uh, okay, so we got options. Uh, sarcasm, happy to help, no way. Sarcasm? You know I'm standing right here and can answer for myself, right? Hey, watch the sarcasm. We've talked about this. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, they're right. Manners aside, they can speak for themselves, and hopefully also point out how reckless and stupid this is. Let's see. I want to help, not happening, uh, still doing it. Uh, I want to help. Mom, if I can help the village, then I'm happy to do it. Besides, I was just in the woods yesterday looking for berries, and I was fine. Okay. I was hoping you'd say that. This isn't exactly a enviable task. I'm proud of you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, Endon Dravair is a proud creature. He has the wisdom of the ages and probably knows something that we don't. But there's a good chance he won't help us for free, just on principle. If he doesn't, I want you to offer him money. This pouch okay. is a hundred gold coin today. A hundred gold coins? A hundred? Where did you get that kind of money? Mm, sneaky business when the with the father he must have he must have had a deal for to get coins maybe. I took it from the village's emergency fund. Oh, <laughs> say this counts. Rounded it out to a hundred using money we were saving for a new roof. Start with a low offer like thirty and work your way up unless you think you're gonna insult him or lose his interest. Uh, okay then. Whatever help or advice he can give will be welcome. If we're lucky, he might already know where our missing people are or where to look. A bird's eye view could show him what we need. Okay. I still think that this is a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna save this village and find a family. I hope. If I'm being honest, it probably is a bad idea, but it's the only one we've got. Uh, anything else? Is there anything else I should know before going? At this point, you know everything that we do. I wish we could be of more help, but Vair's home is not far. Hopefully nothing will bother you on the way. Um, no, I don't think so. Right. I guess I'll head out now then. Yep, I, I'll be heading. I'll be like going out, you know. Here we go, going out, going out through the door, you know. Oh, before you go, do you, oh. you want to do a quick sparring match? Couldn't uh, hurt to brush up on your technique just in case. Um, yeah, yeah sure. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's let's go. Uh, oh, there we go. I got coins already. Ooh, try hitting a training dummy. Press the attack on your weapon. Okay, so this is simple. Kill ya! Ha! 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 The higher... I couldn't read it. Um, ooh. Every time you tag, there's a... Hold on. Hold on. I need to read this. <laughs> Let's see. Try checking a dummy. Press attack with your weapon in hand to perform a basic attack. Great job. The higher your dex stat, uh, the faster you'll be able for the attack. Okay. Every time you attack, there's a 1 in 20 chances that the... I mean, that it will deal a critical hit. Uh, critical hits will deal about twice the amount of damage as a regular hit. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Alright, let's go. Hua, hua, ha. Go on. Hit it. Hit it some more. Hit it some more. Critical hit. How, when when will the critical hits, like, happen? When will it happen? Like, when it's just gonna pop up? Is it gonna keep hitting? <laughs> I guess I got to keep hitting. Oh, critical hit. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, it does pop up. Okay. So, let's see. Was selecting the ability. Ooh. Oh, I got abilities. Okay. Lay on the hands and divine smite. Okay, what does this do? Ooh! Oh, what did I just do? The, no. Whoa! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and there's like a count? Oh, okay, now I'm getting this. Uh, lay on hands, what does this do? Um, I think that's the healing. Okay. Alright, let me try this again. A smite of hands! Ooh, look at that. Okay. Okay, cool. So I got some uh, abilities for me to use. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that seems nice. All right, so I'm thinking... One more thing. Oh. I'm sure you can find your way and don't want me fussing over you. But in case something happens, you should take your father's old wayfinder. Um, let's see. Sarcasm, gratitude, um, gratitude. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Yeah, I'll take I'll take good care Just of it. Just be careful and come back in one piece. We'll be waiting for you with some dinner ready. Ooh. All right, so let's see. Quest complete. Humble beginnings. Main quest started. Uh, ooh, the wayfinder. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, quest. I pushed the wrong thing again. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I gotta get used to like this menu right here. Let's see. Active quest. Neither here nor veer. Okay. Um, so I already completed this one. So active quest. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So, I got this. The Wayfinder. So, is this a compass? Hmm. 
Oh, oh, now I see. Now I see. So it's like a, a way to guide me to a certain area. Okay, that's okay. I might use that. Anyways, um, it was nice to... Um, oh, I can't get out. I can't get out. <laughs> I can't get out. It won't let me get out. Um, unless if I have to go this way. Oh, yep, I do. Um, item unlocked in the menu. Hold on. I need to read this. Uh, let's see. Item unlocked it. A wayfinder, a whole wayfinder to see to go next. Item unlocked it. Uh, in the menu, you can list and manage uh, certain features such as quests, weapons, and armor stats, abilities, and more. And check it out. Hold it. The menu. Okay. So I, I keep I keep pushing the wrong thing. I need to get used to it. Uh, let's see. Weapon, armor, stats, uh, abilities. Hmm. How come it doesn't it doesn't show it for me on here? Hmm. Okay. A uh, weapon and a quest. All that. Okay. So now I think I'm good. Right. Let's go. Let us go start the adventure. Hello, fellow villagers. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just going on my quest. A quest with this thing, the Wayfinder. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm starting my adventure. And let's see. Let's see. A candle keep. And then uh, the clock. I mean, the cloak wood. Hmm. Um, well, this way I need to go. So let's go. Let's see where the adventure takes me. Let's see where the world of Dungeons and Dragons take me to. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, so I have to go. Oh, okay. So I have to go all the way. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, goblins. It's the goblins there. The goblins they are here. They are here to almost try to kill me. Alright. Smite. Divine smite. Ah. Ah, there we go. Oh, no. Watch out. 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 Alright, hua Ikea! Ooh, there we go! Alright, get rid of them! Critical hit! Yeah! Look at me go! Uh, okay! I wasn't expecting that. Neither was I. I think he got something to do with what's going on. Hmm, maybe it does. But the goblins that are surrounding me. <laughs> but anyways, we gotta keep going. We gotta I gotta protect myself, because we don't know what's gonna happen out here. Uh, am I going the right way? Oh, it's all it's like all the way up there. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going on an adventure where no, where nothing can stop me. Uh, ooh, there's a chest up there. There is a chest up here. Now I wonder how. How do we get it? Oh, ooh, ooh. It opened. Okay. Um, how do we get up there? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. All right, ah, and chest. What is inside? Ooh, oh, I got a magic potion. Okay, and a confidence potion. Okay, nice. I got me some potions. So there is potions in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, it's a cave. Of course. In every situation, it always leads to a cave. How Guess terrific! This is it. This must Unless be the this place. Wayfinder led me to some old owlbear den. Um. <sighs> okay then. <laughs> she sounds like me. Like I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through this, but here goes. All right, going through the cave. Going through the cave. Don't let anything attack me. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. <sighs> Please don't let that be a dragon. <laughs> I just started. Please don't let that be a dragon. Oh gosh. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um uh Gosh, do I have to follow the sounds? Oh my gosh, there's Ooh The atmosphere, like the vibration of the atmosphere, I could just like hear it. Hello? <sighs> What Why? is? Ooh. Why do you do this? Release me! Did... Whoa! What? Did he just? What was that? 
Did that man just turn into a coin? And it's still falling. Um, <laughs> there it is. As you reach for the coin that seemed to suck the life from Endan Dravaeir, you note a crack running down its face. Whatever these people want with it, you doubt they should have it. The moment you touch the metallic surface, though, a jolt of energy sears through your fingers. Whoa! Followed by a sense of pressure, as if the ocean's tide were rushing into your flesh. Recoiling, the coin is adhered to your fingertips, bound there even as you feel that the force pouring from it stretches your skin and crushes your bones, threatening to rupture and burst your entire body. I don't think I want that. <laughs> in your body, though, it is the coin that bursts. Erupting into shards of metal as the same light that flowed into it earlier streams into you. The physical pain abates, though something continues to press on your mind, clawing its way into your thoughts and filling your skull as the world around you distorts and turns insensible, chaotic, and then finally, what? Dark. Uh, dark? What? What happened? Where is. Who are you? Whoa. What have you done to me? Uh, what? I don't know. Answer me. No, please stop. Who are you? What are you doing to me? Who... Uh, who am... I will ask again. Who are you? What happened to those people in my cave? Let's see. Um, my name is Black Knight, and... Um, the people in the cave, they, um, they done some crazy things to you. Apparently, you transform into a coin. Your cave? Who or what are you? Yes, who or what are you, sir? Do not play games, child. I am Endan Dravayel. Endan Dra and you oh, answer my questions. Okay. My name's Katra. I, I live in the nearby village. You, you're saying you're the dragon? Is it? Do not play games with me, child. Now answer my questions. What happened in my cave and what have you done to me? I wasn't with those people and I only saw the last part when, when that weird coin started doing something. It looked like they were pulling something out of you and then some thing was put into your body. I think I thought they killed you. Uh, they might have. Um, let's see. What did you see? Um, you remember? Um, what did you did see? Did you see anything? I was, I think I was unconscious for a while, but, but I must have walked to get back here, right? I only came back to consciousness when you were calling for your parents. Okay, um, any memories? What do you remember? They, I, I remember, they, they must have trapped my soul in that coin. I, I have heard of artifacts that can do such. And those artifacts were true, because apparently you transform into a coin, sir. I had never expected that it would be so painful, though. It, it felt like I was being torn and pulled apart, then crushed until I could not even tell what part of my body I was feeling. I suppose, though, that I was not feeling my body at all. Okay. After that, I saw the thing seeping out of my body but i could not see if it if i was breathing everything after is unclear it hurts to remember i was still reeling when the next thing i clearly saw was your face a moment before i felt my felt that transfer again then we were here so is he like inside of my head is he like speaking from my head so is it like you know am i the only person who can hear him but no one else can because he's like in my mind is that is that what's going on here no we need to return me to my do you smell smoke <laughs> no I, I don't smell anything yeah i'm going home i need to see if anything has happened no no way no this is a waste of time. You need to find the people who took my body immediately. Um, Only after I see if they went to my village first. They may have done something. Something must have happened in the village, so I better get going. I better get going, okay? Something... Oh, no. Please tell me the village is on a fire. Please tell me this village is on a fire. If it's on fire, then that is just unfair. 
All right, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. What? What is it? What is it? What is it? Wait up. No. 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 Are you kidding? You see, the village is on fire. What the heck happened here? <laughs> what happened? In my house. Ah! No. No, I can't get in. No. What happened to the house? How do we get in? Mom! Dad! No! Help! Someone help! Someone tell me what! Ah, so there is someone left. Oh, uh, I figured there would be a few of you bumpkins left scurrying about like rats. Well, we can't have you going and squealing to your neighbors about us, no. We want things to be quiet and peaceful. So you will have to come with us. Um, what have you done to my home? Where is everyone? Take or kill them. We'll have no witnesses today. Okay, so, um, apparently a lot happened. Um, okay, so I gotta take these guys out. Ah, the unknown attackers, got it. Ah. Okay, gotta help, gotta help, gotta help. Um, heal. Oh, no. Eee. Okay, take him out, take him out, take him out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, all those coins. This, this was my home. And now it's gone. <laughs> Not anymore, it would seem. Uh, Why would they do this? Where is everyone? Uh, where, what happened? Did, did all of them die? <laughs> do you actually expect an answer to that question, or are you simply asking empty questions to hear yourself speak? Sarcasm. No. I was expecting you to actually be helpful and offer some insight, but I guess that was too much to ask, I guess, wasn't it? I guess that was too much, wasn't it? Uh, careful, child. I may not have my own body, but it seems that I can still harm yours. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't use sarcasm. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't use sarcasm as an option. Stop it! Stop it already! Look! A lot has happened all at once! The dragon pop into my head and start tearing it apart, and then... A few minutes later, I found out my home and everyone I know are now gone. This is a bit overwhelming, and I'd appreciate a bit of compassion, you callous lizard. Oh, oh she called him a lizard. How dare you? Consider yourself fortunate that I am merciful and willing to overlook this slight in light of your obvious distress and lack of self-control. What are you doing in my cave, anyhow? Some of the villagers had gone missing. I was going to ask you for your help finding them. Well, it seems that a few missing persons is the least of your village's concerns now. Um, uh, not helping? It's not helpful. But I suppose you're a bit absorbed in your own little world anyhow, aren't you? Not like you've ever cared about us before. There was not much to care about. Even less now. Okay, so the dragon... The, 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 yeah. That's cool and not appreciated right now. I understand that you're upset, but I am too. So can you please lay off? Hmm. Fine. Okay, cool. But now what? What are we supposed to do now? I don't have a home, and you don't have a body, and I'm not letting you take over mine. I do not think that I could even if I tried. As much as it galls me to admit it, all I can do is hurt you. But please don't. I think that I could kill you if I truly wished, mm. but that would likely end my life too. Exactly. So let's let's just let's just keep it at a level to where you and I could stay alive, okay? So, why don't we just keep it at that level? That's good to know. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, an A okay, an A okay. Mm. We shall hunt the people who took my body. We will find a way for you to put me back, and I can force answers out of those treacherous eels. Perhaps you can use the coin again to set things right. Okay. But it exploded when I touched it. It felt like something was being forced into me before I blacked out. That must have been when you came. Hmm. Without the coin, I doubt that you would have been able to restore me anyhow. Much less after whatever that monster of theirs did to me in the time since. It seemed to be fusing with my form. It might have been feeding. That was not the impression I felt. So I've got the same question as before. What now? Short of purging my soul from your body, which I would not recommend, lest you want me to destroy the both of us first, you will need to put me into another vessel. Okay. Ideally, though, that 
vessel will be my own original body. Okay, so a vessel. Of whatever has come to infest it. If your villagers were taken by this group, then finding where they have taken me will also lead you to the answers you seek. Sure, but I don't know anything about healing dragons or moving souls from one body to another. How are we supposed to do all of that or even find these people? Hmm. I think that the best course now would be to seek the advice of the scholars in Kendalkeep. The Kendalkeep? Is relatively close and hosts the greatest collection of knowledge in Faerun that I am aware of, anyhow. If anyone would know of a cure or be able to devise one and be able to tell us more about this group of people that attacked me, then we will almost certainly find them in Kendalkeep's great library. Okay. Rather than walk the whole way, see if that man with the card is heading north. Wait, what? Preserve your strength while you can. Wait, cards? What cards? I think that's actually the first good, usable advice you've given me. What cards? Do not push your luck with such frequent sarcasm, child. Find the card and let us leave. Cards? What cards? Let's see. Quest log updated. Interact with card. Where's the card? Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me take a look at this. So, ooh. All right. Let's see. Um. Okay, I don't know what that I don't know what that's all about, but oh wait a minute, hold on, what's this? Let's see. A fireball. Ooh. Wait, how do I get that? Hmm. It's not it's not giving me like anything. Hold on. Uh let's see. Armor. Hold on. Oh, I got two. Okay. So we got this. So I keep. <laughs> I need to know which buttons for the press, and that one. Okay, and armor and quests. Let's see. And uh, neither here. Um. Okay. So, the guy in the carts. I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't know where, but maybe he's over here. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So that area is blocked. How do I get it? The, where's the cart? Where's the cart? Hold on, I must have missed something. Uh, do not push your luck, such as so frequent a sarcasm child. Find a cart and let us leave. Let's see, interact for a cart to leave the candle keep. Hi everyone, Black Knight here from the future. So, I just finished editing this video and I am coming in here for one specific reason and that is for to do the outro because apparently while I was recording this the outro part it got cut off my recording software it literally you know lagged it and it literally just cut it out the intro so I am just coming in here and doing the outro and finishing this video but before I even do that um, remember how the um, voice in my head or voice from the coin um, Eric something Vladic something um, yeah apparently the cards thing that we were supposed to take I found it and not because it didn't pull out the way like the wayfinder but it is right here the cart that I was supposed to find it is right here like I literally ran like I ran past them yeah I didn't even see that but the cart is right here but I will be taking you know using the cart for in the next episode, you know. But yeah, sadly though, we just been around time of this video of me playing the Dungeons and Dragons mashup pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video and want to see me do a part two of my playthrough of this Dungeons and Dragons mashup pack in Minecraft, then why don't you go ahead and leave a like on today's video? And also, if this happens to be your very first time checking out my channel, then why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button today to join the Kingdom of Knights. So anyways, that's the end of today's video. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I was in the next one. So until then, goodbye. Oh, hold on. Goodbye.